We've uh, been following the Rex Hurman case uh, here at the program. I'm sure you're aware if you've been listening for any amount of time. Uh, they continue to try and figure out where all of his tentacles uh, have been. Uh, Stacy just off the air. He said, "What if he? What if he's like an octopus?" He is, man. I think he. I think he is. Uh, so there's a lot of unsolved murder cases around the country that are being reopened or at least uh, looked at a little bit uh, if Rex had a footprint uh, in some of these areas, uh, and especially if they kind of line up to look uh, as if they could have been committed in the same way or the same uh, type of circumstances as the crimes that he is accused of uh, committing uh, in uh, Gilgo Beach. Uh, Jesse Foster, that's who we're talking about here. This is a case from... Uh, several years back, early 2000s, you may remember it, you may not, uh, if you watch Dateline and such. Um, she was a young woman, embodiment of youthful vigor and charisma. Uh, Glenn Dean Grant, Jesse's mother, recalls her as a teenager full of life, love, and laughter. Growing up in the quaint city of Kamloops, British Columbia, Jesse's childhood was marked by by happiness and stability. She lived a stone's throw away from her school, surrounded by a tight-knit community. But as Jessie's journey into adulthood began, so did her quest for exploration and freedom. In 2005, the allure of the United States beckoned. Jessie, then 20, decided to visit Florida, New York City, and Atlantic City. Her experience ended up taking her to Las Vegas then, Took her mother by surprise as well, revealing a sudden change of plans. Jesse would stay on to celebrate her 21st birthday in the city of Sin. But as the days turned into weeks and weeks into months, Jesse's return to Canada kept getting postponed. Phone calls filled with a multitude of excuses kept Glendale hopeful, but uh, deep, or Glendine rather hopeful, but uh, deep down she felt an unsettling void. Jesse had fallen in love with a man named Peter Todd. Don't ever fall in love with people that have the same name. Uh, if I first name well, for two first name. names two is, first is names. frightening. Exactly. There's a lot of radio people like that. So fucking avoid Jim them. Bob. Avoid them like the plague. Yep. Um, uh, she even made a, a fleeting visit to Canada during Christmas, but her heart was set on returning to Vegas. That Christmas day was the last time Glendine saw her daughter alive and in person. The last call came from Jesse in late March of 2006 after she disappeared without a trace. Peter Todd, her boyfriend, claimed to have no idea about her whereabouts with her personal belongings left behind and no concrete evidence of foul play. The police had little to go on. Fast forward 17 years later, Glenn Dean is still looking onto the memories of her daughter despite the dark cloud of mystery shrouding Jessica's disappearance. Uh... She has a gut feeling her daughter is still alive in some interviews. That uh, heartstring between a mother and a child remains unbroken. However, the waters of this cold case have been recently stirred. The arrest of the alleged Gilgo Beach serial killer Rex Hureman has put the spotlight back on Jesse's case and several others like it. Jesse, after all, had been in the dangerous world of prostitution in Las Vegas and had faced violence. Could her disappearance be connected to Hureman, the man now at the center of multiple murder investigations? The profile of Hureman and his suspected crimes is disturbing. Of course, he's believed to have been involved in the deaths of several women, most of whom were escorts in Las Vegas. Between 03 and 06, five such women, including Jesse, disappeared or were found dead. Many other bodies dumped in desolate areas wrapped in cloth. Could Hewerman be the serial killer behind these heinous crimes, too? New clues hint at this possibility. Hewerman has ties to Las Vegas, owning timeshares since 2004. Autopsy reports of the victims show eerie similarities between the Las Vegas case and the Gilgo Beach murders. Both involved strangulation as a cause of death. Furthermore, the discovery of Lindsay Marie Harris's dismembered body in Springfield, Illinois, a location mentioned in Hewerman's bail application at another layer of suspicion to more Jeez. bodies surrounding Hewerman. While the investigation trail is heating up, uh, definitive evidence linking Hewerman to Jesse's disappearance is yet to be found. Uh, Glenn Dean sees physical similarities between her daughter and another victim of Hewerman, but for now, it remains a 
haunting possibility whether or not human hu, a humanman is behind Jesse's disappearance. At the very least, it's back in the limelight, offering a glimmer of hope to her family that maybe they will find some information about her disappearance. Uh, yeah, I, I think there's going to be a lot more with Hewerman uh, lining up here. Uh, but well, I, th- Go ahead. The thing that gets me is that this, let's say he did it, okay? I mean, all, all signs are really pointing to him, but I'm just going to put that out there. Let's just say he did it. Not that he did it, but he's been doing this allegedly for so long that I, I wonder if we're talking in the hundreds of of missing women um, and possibly men. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what he what he did. Um, but I, I just, you know, we're we're talking about maybe ten people right now. I'm wondering, was this a man who was just craving? this this activity and did it everywhere he went and he there there could be hundreds of bodies um strewn throughout the united states that he's responsible for uh i think there's gonna be a lot i don't know how many i I would not be surprised by any means if it, it is super super high uh but i i also the the problem with this is um with sex workers uh our society doesn't seem to, you know, doesn't really put a whole lot of weight on that when they come up missing or dead as they would other individuals who may not be in a trade that uh, is rather questionable. Uh, And with that, you have less manpower, you have less investigation work that goes into these sort of things. So they are a very easy target should someone want to take up the life of being a serial killer. Uh, So I, I, I think there's probably a lot of these that have nothing to do with him, but it just means there's that many more Rex Hewermans out there. Oh, yeah. So. It makes me sad. I've, I'm not going to say that I've known sex workers, but I've known two, two okay. of them. And one of them I knew in college and she, she was using her body to pay for college. And the story she would tell of, of these men that they were just horrific um, cold, unfeeling, like disconnected from their own bodies during, yeah. during the process. And like, they were just going through the motions and, and she, she didn't care. She just wanted their money. Mm-hmm. It was a means to an end for her. But I, I just, it's such an under the underbelly of society. And, and I, I wish it weren't, I wish we gave them a little more respect than we do. I don't condone the lifestyle, but I don't fault it either. I, I just, you know, it, it does lend itself to horrible people just destroying these individuals without a care, you know? Oh, very much so. I mean, that that's really where it goes. And I mean, anybody who's dead uh, or has, you know, they're missing should be, it should be the same weight on everybody uh, as far yeah. as looking them for, but we, that's obviously not how it works. Um, and that's, that's a societal problem that we have. I, I think even more than, um, you know, law enforcement and such, uh, but you know, it, it's, it's a, it's a, you know, it's a sad place to be in. Uh, and it's disturbing to see uh, sometimes when the curtain is lifted, just how many dead, uh, women are out there uh, who were in that trade and, and how uh, it, it doesn't really get the attention that I think it deserves because I think there's a lot of Rex Hearmans out there that are able to run uh, and do their thing uh, uncaught for very long periods of time. Yeah. Oh, it's awful. So we'll just uh, keep watching as the death toll of Rex Hewerman continues to rise. You're locked into the Hidden Killers podcast. Want more? Start binging on all of our true crime podcasts right now through Apple Podcasts and get an ad-free experience when you sign up to be a True Crime Today Premium Plus member exclusively on Apple Podcasts. More of the Hidden Killers podcast dropping soon. Press subscribe now.